And Dr. Burkhart, you and I were just talking uh, briefly earlier about some of what kind of you're seeing in terms of trends as it relates to treating uh, depression in clients over the last 12 to 18 months. Yeah. Share, share with us just a little bit about kind of what you're seeing uh, as far as that's concerned. Well, I think the reality is, I mean, the most common thing that a lot of us wrestle with is depression and anxiety. Uh, this kind of seems to be a lot of our, our daily lives and not, not just for our clients, but even heck, I even know counselors who wrestle with depression and anxiety. So it's, it's, it's one of the most common things that, that we as counselors not, not only treat, but also what our clients are going through and what brings them to counseling. So I think first and foremost, I would say, if you are experiencing some of these like symptoms, right, these things that you're going through, you're not alone. There's a lot of people, a lot of people who are feeling the same way. And I think the question that really comes up is, is why? What's happening for, for most of people in our culture and our world right now to be wrestling with anxiety and depression and depression symptoms? And, you know, I maintain a, a small supervisory caseload um, of people who are graduated and they're working towards becoming fully licensed clinicians. And we, of course, saw depression increase in 2020 with a lot of COVID-related uh, situations. And we started noticing something interesting with me and my supervisees. It seemed like a lot of my supervisees who were trying to treat depression, in a lot of cases, they weren't making a lot of headway. And we couldn't figure out why just doing kind of normal treatment stuff, why the depression seemed to kind of be persisting and sticking in our clients. And we kind of did a shift in, in the early fall of 2020 and we began seeing some things that really were, were kind of caught our attention. So we, we began treating depression around, you know, what's your meaning in life? What, what purpose do you have? Right. Uh, what do you have hope in? So we began kind of exploring these things in clients around meaning and purpose and hope. And what we found is that a lot of us, a lot of us struggle to find meaning and purpose and hope in life. Um, especially in the midst of everything that is going on. And what we saw was that as we began to work with others and journey alongside others and, and kind of be a part of their story and help them find meaning and purpose and hope, we began to see some of the depressive symptoms go, go away. And we know that we as, as Christians, there's a very specific place that we find meaning and purpose and hope. Um, and that that has something to say about where we as believers may find some relief from depressive symptoms. I'm not suggesting that if we're going through mental health disorders, we just need to pray it all away, right? But, but I am saying that we may find some of the things that may actually lead to greater emotional regulation in our relationship with Jesus. And that offers a lot to us. 